Hey guys and welcome back to another scientific applications lecture. Today we're going to be looking into something a little bit different. We're going to have a peek into our past and see if radiocarbon dating can predict the future. To do this we're going to have a quick review of a paper from Martin Schaeffer which uses radiocarbon dating to track past human migration and population patterns to predict or at least extrapolate human behaviour today. So first we need to know what we're looking for, right? Schaeffer explains that there are universal indicators or red flags that arise just before a fall in society. Things like natural disaster, people flocking or mobbing one place like a city, and large shifts in group dynamic. So where does all this tie in with radiocarbon dating? Well, Schaeffer focuses primarily on the Stone Age and uses the example of Mesa Verde to stake his claim. The abandonment of Mesa Verde confused archaeologists and scientists for years, and it seemed like civilization was there one second and gone the next. However, using radiocarbon dating, we can now see that there was events leading up to the collapse. A drought caused by masses to overpopulate city areas, population increase which led to conflict, and thus the overall collapse and abandonment of the city. This is known as a tipping point, so in fact there was over a hundred years of angst leading up to the collapse of the Pueblo peoples. But this isn't just an abstract historical event. The Mesa Verde event was very similar to, say, modern-day Syria, experiencing large drought, drove people into the city, increasing conflict, which led to mass migration, and eventual societal falling out. So, can radiocarbon dating be used to predict the future? Well, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Do you think the resilience markers highlighted by Sheffer and his carbon dating methods should be used today to keep an eye on things and sort of outline preventative measures, or do you think it's a bit of a stretch? I want you all to write a quick 100 word response as to why or why not you think these methods would be applicable today. Until then, have a good weekend, and I can't wait to hear your responses.